video, I'm going to show you how to create a job board uh, in Notion, effectively using Notion as a content management system or CMS. Think of like a lightweight WordPress or Squarespace. So I have a job board and this job board is housed in this giant table. And I've been collecting this for many, many months now. Uh, and these are just links to jobs. Uh, and so what I'll do is I will crawl the web and I'll find an interesting job like Samsung Next Principle. So I'll go to the Notion Clipper. I'll add it to the page, Rad Jobs, uh, the table, Rad Jobs. Hit save. I've got one more job. Uh, I'll add it to the, to the table, Rad Job. And then I'll flip back to my Notion table. So you'll see these two jobs were just added. And I'm just going to clean up the, the title because they actually pulled the entire page. Look at that. So I'm going to just clean the title uh, by deleting this. And then I'll do the same here. Sam's principal at Samsung next. All right. So these two jobs are in my database. I'll add the issue number 26. This is just for my own accounting. Um, and I could add some tags to it, but uh, let's just keep it simple. Now, what I do is I want to show you how I created a web page that's publicly shareable. I'll go into my workspace. I'll add a new page. I'll do Rad Jobs website. I'll use a uh, linked database, which is a mirror image of that database. So you go to create link database, the most powerful function, uh, I, I think, in Notion. Create it, and it asks you for the name of that database. So it's JJ Rad Jobs. Pulls it up. And here's that think num job, the principal job. Now I want to add another view. And so I actually want to make it a gallery. And so here again are two jobs. You'll see like the formatting could look a little bit better. So what I'll do first is I will make it full width. That cleans it up. I will then go in and change some of the settings. So the properties of this table, of this view. I'll make the card size small. I'll make the card preview uh, page content and I'll fit the image so that it centers it nicely. So you'll see now it's just missing two images here because these posts didn't actually have images. So this is just a little hack, but I go back into my page. I'll just grab Samsung's logo using a screenshot. Uh, I'll drop it in here. Watch what happens. Boom, populated. Think Num needs a logo, I'll go in. I'll grab the logo, control shift four to just grab the picture, paste it in. Look, ThinkNum had yucky text, go in, hit paste it in. There you have it, our ThinkNum logo. So now this is our website and I could make the cover just to make it look a little bit nicer. And I could add some text up top here if I wanted to, but there you have it. So now this, we want to share this. We make it public. Um, I don't let it duplicate. And then I go to copy page link and then I'll open up my browser. I'll go into an incognito window. I'll paste the link. I'll have to delete the view, but here's, here is our view. If I delete the other view, uh, it would load up uh, the first time. Hope you found that helpful. This is so powerful. Uh, lets you spit out content really quickly and uh, hope you enjoy.